Hello guys, my name is Vijay. I am working as Senior Lead in Engineer in Episero. In this session, let's continue uh, with the data view interview questions. So the question is, uh, when to use map and map object? So map is some function where uh, we use to iterate over items in an array and the output will be again an array. Map, uh, map object also, uh, we will iterate through the items within an object or key value pairs within an object and it will return an object once again as output. So if you see here the input and output for a map function is an array and the input and output for map object uh, function is an object. We will see a little bit on the same uh, through the demo. So let's go ahead to the 12th question. Uh, how to update company name in employee array. So this we will see directly as a demo. Before that, let me explain you uh, when can we use map function. So if you see right, uh, this is the payload. So let me copy this. Yeah, so this is the input payload. Uh, it is having array of objects. For example, now I only want to print the employee name. Okay, uh, payload. Now, uh, because it's an uh, array, right? So I have to use map function. And let's say I wish only to print the uh, name value in the each and every object instead of name and company. So uh, I can use like this name colon item dot name. So this way, you see the input to the map function is an array and the output from the map function is again an array okay so this is how you can use or this is one of the instances where you can use map function okay now let us jump uh, into uh, the next question that is how to update company name in employee array so let's assume that uh, we have to update the company name so instead of episode let's say we have to update it to some other company so how can we do do that for all these uh, array of objects so for that you have to use update function okay so in order to use the update function uh, we have to uh, use this particular module uh, because update function is not available in the core module of data view so uh, you have to use this module uh, utility module okay so once uh, you import this automatically uh, the update function will be available. So I want to update the, the company. So, so we have to uh, iterate through each and every object and wherever we find company, right? So item update and company. So you have to pass the, the, cur the right key. Okay. So item, that means each and every item update and the key value uh, in the form of string and with what value you, you want to update. Let's say I want to update it with uh, entity data services. Okay. So this is how you can update uh, a particular key keys value for each and every object using the update function. So because we have to update each and every objects company uh, with entity data services. So we have used a map function and then we have used update function. So uh, for in order to make update function available, you have to import this module. This is a must and should thing. Okay. Now let us go ahead to the next question. So this we have discussed just now. Uh, 13th question is what is dollar and double dollar? So we call these as anonymous parameters. Uh, if you see this right, uh, if the parameters of the mapper function are not named, the index can be referred with double dollar and the value with dollar. If you take this example, right, this is an array and we can use map function. And uh, uh, I mean, when you use uh, map, right, uh, by default, we'll get item comma index, right? So now if you don't want to use them, if you want to shorten the code, okay, then uh, uh, so here they have used double dollar colon dollar, right? So dollar 
uh, refers to the item and double dollar refers to the index okay so let me show you the same same thing in the demo part so for example let me remove this so payload map as we have discussed right previously uh, so uh, see this item is nothing uh, we can uh, refer it with if there is nothing like this right so what we can do uh, so you can represent item with single dollar that's why you see each and every item got printed in the output okay um, or if you want to uh, indicate uh, index right you can in indicate it with uh, double dollar so that's why you see uh, 0 1 2 uh, got printed okay so this is how uh, uh, you can uh, refer with anonymous parameters if you don't define uh, this item one second let's write this so if, if you if you don't define these things right uh, if you want to remove this you can uh, here uh, let me keep it so here item you can represent with dollar and index you can represent with double dollar so dollar and double dollar we call them as anonymous parameters and these two things yeah they represent item and index uh, respectively okay so this is one of the interview questions that's why uh, i'm explicitly uh, discussing about this now let's go ahead how to convert all the keys in an object to uppercase so this is an object uh, and the requirement is to convert all the keys to the uppercase like this so before we discuss about this thing let's discuss a bit on map object so map object can be used um, on an object and the output again will be an object for example now uh, we have this object and i don't want all the key value pairs okay now i want only very few uh, key value pairs like uh, let's say name uh, so okay name okay now uh, see you got this uh, value key index right so what we can do in order to make it as a generic thing uh, instead of you can you can simply use uh, key here so this way you see uh, you are able to uh, fetch the key keys dynamically right so key and the value okay so for each and every key uh, this particular code will get executed and it will fetch the key and the value as well the corresponding value so uh, this is where you can use map object uh, now in order to make uh, the keys as uppercase right what you can do uh, you can use upper function on keys okay so this is how you can you can you can make the keys into uppercase you can convert the keys into the uppercase and you can use the map object on him on a object and the output again will be object so that is what we understood so how to convert all the keys in an object to uppercase this, this is what we just discussed now now again let's discuss about the anonymous parameters so here if you don't want to use this portion so let's delete this so what we can do you see because we did not uh, we are not representing uh, uh, key value or index with anything right so this this is not able it's throwing an error here so instead of this what you can do uh, so the sequence is value comma key comma index right by default uh, so value will uh, be represented by dollar key will be double by double dollar and index will be by triple dollar so instead of key what we can keep here we can keep double dollar and instead of value we can keep single dollar okay the same thing 
now you see uh, the complexity of the code got reduced right so so this is the advantage of uh, using anonymous parameters you can you can shorten the code or uh, you can um, make the code look simpler okay so i hope you understood this now let's jump into the next question that is how to fetch uh, keys and values of an object okay so now so this is the payload actual payload now if i want to fetch the keys right keys of the uh, of this object so you can simply use keys of function so this way it will fetch the keys and uh, if you want to use uh, values if, if you want to fetch the values right what you can do you can use values of so this will fetch the values of uh, this particular object now the values are in blue color so ram 25 hyderabad and india all these are values okay so uh, let me frame some small object so it's like keys sorry these are values and case case of payload okay so case uh, these are the case and values these are the values so this way you can fetch the keys and values of an object so we have discussed this we have also discussed about these three anonymous parameters that you could see here and you can check in the documentation for a uh, for a better uh, explanation how to fetch keys and values that that also we have covered let's go to the next question how to extract integers only from a given string so this is a string which is a combination of characters and integers so how to fetch only integers is the question so now so this is the input payload that is nothing but a string now we have to extract the integers so we have some function called as scan and uh, what we have to do we have to use a regular expression here to to filter out or to extract the integers now you see as soon as i use scan and this regular expression right uh, it has uh, given only the integers as output like array of arrays right now we we can use flatten function to to combine array of arrays into one array we can use flatten function okay now again this is uh, not in an integer format right uh, okay it's not it's not looking like a number it's it's in array format so let's use join by function okay we have used join by and still it is looking uh, the output is again a string now let's convert it to a number so you can you can put as number so that uh, one two three four that is uh, in the format of string got, uh, it got converted to number so this is how you can uh, extract the num integers or numbers from from a given st uh, string which is having characters and numbers okay let's go ahead with the next question how to use feed by function so in the next tab uh, yeah so first let's take simple example uh, that is uh, in the input payload right it's a json object now let's try to split the uh, payload dot message okay let's split by space okay now uh, when you when you have split this particular uh, string uh, at space right it got split into two uh, strings so always the input will be string and the output will be an array okay you can uh, yeah you can also pass a regular expression here so let's see that particular example okay let me copy this input so this is the string now if you want to uh, split this string okay at um, three different uh, characters let's say comma dot and uh, this is backward slash so if you want to split this whole string at these three characters how you can do that so you have to use a regular expression and uh, so 
this is an array and inside this you have to pass the pass this special character so i'll i'm going to pass comma and i'm going to pass dot and in order to uh use i mean in order to pass this backward slash as a uh within this regular expression right you have to use forward slash before that okay for escaping so this is how uh, you can use a regular expression and you can split uh, wherever you want by using the split by function so always the output will be an array of uh, strings for the split by function so you could see uh, this particular got, string got split at comma dots and backward slash okay so this is how you can use split by function let's go with the next question that is how to skip null values okay so how to skip null values you see within this pay input payload we have uh, uh, a key value pair with city and the value is null here the city and the value is like empty string city and null but you, so why i have kept this particular thing explicitly is that you have to understand that null is different and empty string is dif different okay so you have to add this particular attribute okay skip null on equal to everywhere so you see it has removed this particular key and uh, sorry this particular key value pair and the same key value pair in from the third object but not uh, this key value pair because uh, this is not a null null value okay so that is the difference between uh, null and empty string empty string is not a null so now as soon as we use let me put a, a comment here now you see uh, we got the payload as is so when you add this attribute uh, to this uh, uh, script right you see the key value pairs where the value is null uh, got removed okay so this is how you can mm, remove the null values from a for, from an array of objects or an object now let's go to the last question for the session how to remove a key value pair in json object so now you see this particular object is having three keys and the three values now let's say if you want to remove a particular key so you have to simply use minus uh, uh, the key name now if you want to remove message to right let's say i want to remove message to instead of message so just pass that particular key and uh, this particular key value pair is removed and that is what you see in the output okay so if you want to remove both the key value pairs right uh, like message and message to you can use uh, like okay message so you see i, I have removed this particular uh, uh, key value pair and this one as well message and message to both the key value pairs were removed okay so i think that's it uh, uh, from my side for this session i'll talk i'll try to come up with some more uh, uh, data view interview questions in the next video thank you